So um, just a testament to how terrible of a husband I am. Last year was our 10 year anniversary. And uh, we were like, oh, that's a big deal. We, we should do something. We've been thinking about that for, you know, the year prior. And then it actually got to like July 28th and it was just so busy. We just didn't do anything, like anything at all. No, we, we kept were saying like, we'd do something later in the year. And we just kind of put it off and then we didn't do anything. Yeah, <laughs> so now it's one year later and now it's our 11th wedding anniversary and we decided that we better make up for it. So we have come here. So as per usual, we have to pick up a bike for Beth because she just <laughs> she still doesn't have a bike yet. It's like late July. So the place that we wanted to go to is called Higher Ground Sports in, uh, in Golden here. They were like one of the only people that actually rent really good bikes in the area. So we're gonna pick Beth up a transition scout, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. So this is David back there. He's working away on the computer, but uh, he was just telling me how, I didn't realize that this shop was about four years old, you said? Yeah. Four years? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And so him and his wife bought this space and it's like a hundred year old building and they had to reno the whole thing and you guys built a place upstairs. Yeah, got, and got four kids. With four kids, really? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're just like making it happen in Golden. Yeah. That's really cool. Here she is. Hi, Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. New bike day? No. Well, new bike rental day. <laughs> We're gonna get out to the hill. This looks so cool. Snaking trails. Yeah, where's the drones at? What kind of vlogger am I? All right, I'm going for 70K. 70 kilometers an hour. There we go. Oh, it's just this loose corner to start off with. Yeah, 70.9. Oh, baby. So this is pretty nice. And one of the reasons why I was like, Beth, we need to come here now is because, so typically how it was from here, it's pretty much like blue, pretty rough kind of techie trails. But now they've opened up a green trail and it's actually a lot of fun. What they have, they have like a climb trail. So basically you could bring your all mountain bike, go up the Gandhi once, and then just stay in the Alpen zone if you want. So, left is the blue, tire killer, or yeah, this one is called Dragon Chaser. This is a nice way to get warmed up, especially if you happen to take the gondola all the way to the top. First run, it's nice to have something to get rolling on. <laughs> it's tacky up here. Woo! Beth is taking the blue route, I think. This is a black route, and it's rough. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I like that. That's fun. All right, so Beth is gonna take the blue trail magic carpet ride. 
And I'm gonna take the one next to it called Time Travel. It's a black diamond. I don't remember the trail at all. I haven't hit it in probably a couple of years. Gentle roll on into it. <laughs> nah. Whoa. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Got a little wobbly at the top. It's just this mountain. Look how steep it is. Like, they just have to cut straight across. Oh, hey, weirdo. Yeah, so before you had to take this road for actually a really, really long time. Oh, okay. Go all the way down and you lose a ton of elevation. Oh. Whereas now they just build this awesome flow trail Connected. to like put it right through, yeah. Cool. yeah. I'm excited for that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Smooth. Oh, nice. Woo! Oh. Oh yeah! Whoa. That's awesome! Oh. Whoa, look at this view! Woo. Yeah, I jump into a turn. <laughs> oh. oh man, it's like tacky and awesome. High line. Nice. This is fun. Woo! Ha! Sweet. Upper Quanky Pants. Woo! Oh. High speed. Whoa. Something's wrong. Let me guess, spoke? Nope. Derailer cable. I hope the, all you fine Patreon folks, Patreon subscribers are enjoying the extended cut of this. Woo! Thank you guys for your support. Going forward, it's really the only way that we can keep doing these videos as often as we do, so. If anybody wants to go and check it out, there's a link below. And above. It's gonna go down the road a little bit. We're gonna go and hit Swamp Donkey, which is like a black diamond jump trail. Woo! All right, so this is Swamp Donkey. Now this is a squirrel catcher. This is the only wood on the whole trail. And you can actually just roll it. Okay, she's gone. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, that, that's a floaty bugger. That was awesome. <laughs> nice. Floaty. I love that. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. 
So I rode this last year, but it feels really fresh. I also feel like I'm going way faster than last year. Because oh. bra I brake checked on all of those back there. Oh. And I'm still going a little fast. Floaty. Nice and floaty. That was close. Some of those lips. Really got to hang off the back. Oh. oh, my heart rate's going. Holy smokes. Wow. That was, that was intense. Good times. That was a fun lap down the mountain. Nice. <laughs> no. <laughs> High five. That's better. So I like to try and get songs stuck in Beth's head subconsciously. And uh, today is Sugar Town. So every chance I get when I'm around her, I'm going. See if she'll do it while she's on camera. Oh, this is nice. You want to take the camera? Sure. Let's do it. I was just helping Beth throw the, the chest mount and gimbal on her for this first run, and I accidentally throat karate chopped her. But it wasn't even on camera. Oh. I'm sure you'll do it again. Would have been a great thumbnail. Look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. World move. <laughs> Feels good today. Yeah. Bike feels good. Sweet. Feel confident on it now. Yeah. So that's good. This thing makes it hard to breathe. Oh. <laughs> this is yeah. That's my world. Check us out. There's no meat in this pasta. <laughs> nice bolognese with some Mexican sausage. Delicious. Today's our anniversary. Today's our anniversary. Years. She's been with me for 11 freaking years of marriage. I've stuck it out for 11 years. Yeah. What a gal. We got married on Vancouver Island. It's really- it's actually a little tiny town called Bowser where my grandparents live. That's so true. So we got married in their backyard, which is a beautiful spot overlooking the ocean. And we were- Yeah, yeah it was awesome. It was a good day. <laughs> did, we didn't have like a big number of people. It was like a smaller wedding and we just did like a nice like barbecue and hung out. <clears throat> it was great. 
And then um, after the wedding day, we packed up and we went to Whistler. Because, you, <laughs> because I mean, I'm assuming you would just assume that that's where we would go. And so now, 11 years later, where are we? At a bike park. This time it's Kicking Horse. Just doing the same thing we were doing 11 years ago. No personal growth involved here. <laughs> so on this next lap, we're gonna try something a little bit different. The top half, I've always said so many times, like this is the mountain to have a down, a full on downhill bike. And not because it's crazy steep, not be, like, it's not like super gnarly, but it's just like really fast, chattery trail. And so I always thought like, oh, it would be so awesome to have like the full like eight inch travel downhill bike to just like <laughs> smash through it. So we've got a couple of um, Scott Gamblers. So like eight inch travel, full on downhill bikes. Okay, ready to give it a go. Squishy, squishy. Let's go. <laughs> oh wow! That makes huh, makes a massive difference over this stuff. Like I don't even feel any of it. You can definitely hear the bike taking up all that <laughs> slack. Nice. Okay, that was massive. I'm gonna be real honest. I knew there would be a difference. That was a huge difference. And just kind of, I mean, just, just soaking it up, right? Like I was going from 140 millimeters to probably 200, I assume. I don't know the speed to that jump. The shorter reach I'm feeling, for sure. Move it, buddy! It's <sighs> waiting for my wife. Hmm? You definitely got a flat. <laughs> no way. Oh, flat has been fixed. Flat Woo. That was good. This bike's actually a lot of fun. down <laughs> all right color me impressed i wasn't expecting to really like this bike <laughs> i knew it'd be a lot cushier but i thought i'd have a hard time on it i actually really really like it <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna try and hit 71 kilometers an hour down this hill. Damn. This is my goal. I hit 70 yesterday, 70.9. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> there we go. 71K. Seventy four point two. Sweet.
know if you noticed, but I was a lot more silent than usual. <laughs> oh, this is gonna look like freaking parking lot, but give me a try here. It's gonna take it slow though. I ain't never done it. Oh, sweet. Oh. So this continues. Okay, this looks definitely steeper than the last one. And I can't see where it goes. After about three quarters down, it looks like. Here we go. This mountain for me is all about pushing limits. So let's do that. Oh. Whoa. 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 Where is it going? Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Starting to pick up speed, but I don't want to be here. Oh. Oh. All right, made it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I haven't. All right, uh, black. <laughs> well, we had an amazing four days out at Kicking Horse Mountain Resort, and it was so cool to show Beth some of the trails that I had been riding for years and see brand new ones that were new to me and new to her. Those new flow trails were amazing. It was such a fun time out there and we'll definitely be back soon. But alas, it was time to head off from Kicking Horse. After taking the rental bike back to higher ground, we headed off to Cedar Lake, which is this beautiful little lake just kind of nestled in the mountains. And Beth was pretty pumped about that because she is a swimmer. She could swim all day, every day. Yep, she really loves to swim. And I really love to stay on the shore. Some say she's still out there, just paddling around. 